Hello everybody, my name is Shelby. I'm the product manager for the Works Maker X tools. Today we are going to be reviewing how to best use your tool, how to clean your tool, and then how to avoid clogs. All right, so we recommend using water-based paints. Um, this helps reduce clogs and just comes out a lot cleaner on your paper. So you can do things to help the paint flow through the machine better, such as thinning it out with a paint thinner or even water. It's a lot of trial and error, so just keep practicing. The more you practice, the better your painting's gonna be. Um, so today, we are going to pretend like we have just finished our project and we now want to clean the tool so we can either switch the paint or deep clean the tool. Power your tool on, push the trigger down, and then pull back to start paint. There we go. Now, I've finished here, so I'm gonna power my tool off. So for quick cleaning, you're going to remove the lid, pour out any excess paint. You can either pour it into a cup, a trash can, or you can pour it back into your paint bottle. So pour that out. Take a paper towel, wipe out the reservoir as best you can. And then we're actually going to put a little bit of water into the paint cup. And we're going to flush that through the system. So you can, sorry, keep your lid off and turn your unit on. Put your finger over the nozzle, push down, pull back, and you're gonna see a little bit of bubbling. That's good, that's letting the paint clean through. So you're gonna wanna dump that and then repeat this process a few times. This is cleaning out the cup paint needle, and the nozzle tips. So again, push down, pull back, let it bubble up a little. Pour it out. You're gonna wanna do this until your water runs mostly clear. Now with a bright color, it's going to take a bit more time, but just keep going and you'll get there. Let it bubble, pour it out. You can even wipe in between just to help remove some of the excess paint. Finger over the top, let it bubble. And that's looking almost clear. So we can go ahead, turn the unit off, wipe out any remaining paint. And then to test, you're going to want to put more water in the cup this time because you're gonna actually spray it through the machine. So power back on, push down, pull back, and on your paper, your water should run mostly clear. Now, get all the excess water out. You can either continue to spray or wipe out any excess water. Now you're ready to put in your next color, or you can put your machine away. For best use, we recommend deep cleaning your tool after completely done using it. Um, to do so, remove it from the power, and you're going to completely disassemble the tool. Next, we're going to disassemble the tool for deep cleaning. First, unscrew the tail housing. Now unscrew the tightening bolt. Now unscrew the inner housing. You can keep all these pieces together or remove them. Now pull out the needle. At this point, you can remove the trigger as well as this small piece by flipping it over. Remove the paint cup. Then remove the nozzle pieces. You can take a airbrush cleaner or simply use hot soapy water to deep clean these and then scrub them using the cleaning brush. Afterwards, make sure you rinse them thoroughly and then air dry completely. Be sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions for airbrush cleaning solution. Now we've deep cleaned your Maker X airbrush and we're ready to reassemble the tool. To reassemble, take the body of your tool and attach all the nozzle pieces.
take the nozzle cover and screw that into place. Next, you could take the paint feeding cup and screw that on. And attach the lid. Now you'll want to insert the trigger. Take this piece here, make sure that the flat edge is facing towards the back of the tool, and then make sure that the gold piece goes down into the hole. This does take a little bit of patience, so just take your time and work with the tool. Now you're going to want to insert this piece here. I like to use needle nose pliers to fit it into place as it is very small. You'll need to insert it vertically and then rotate. Make sure these pieces stay as still as possible as they will fall out easily. Now insert this piece. There is a cutout for the screw on the bottom, so that cutout needs to go facing downward. Fit it in and push it. You'll see that that small piece goes against the, the trigger. Now insert the spring and the final housing. Screw those into place. And then insert the needle. Now that the needle is in place, none of these pieces can move anymore. Lastly, attach the tightening buckle. It will not screw all the way down on the threading, so just make sure that it's tight enough to where it stops spinning. And lastly, insert this. Now your tool is ready for your next painting job.